Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my November TBR. So I actually filmed this yesterday. Today is Monday. I filmed it yesterday, Sunday, and <laughs> was thinking about my TBR and have watched a couple other like TBR videos and realized like I wasn't really excited about the books that I put on my TBR and like felt like it was going to be really difficult to have a successful reading month with what I had on there. So I took some books off of my TBR. I'm going to redraw from my glasses, all that jazz. Um, and I really just want to like do a little bit more mood reading. So I like basically cut my TBR in half from what I filmed yesterday. And so you're going to see my revised <laughs> TBR today. So first I will be reading one nonfiction book for nonfiction November. There are four prompts, but really I just want to read more nonfiction and this is a great excuse to do so. So I will be reading George Washington's Secret Six, The Spy Ring That Saved the American Revolution. This has been on my radar for a while because of the AMC TV show Turn, which John and I just like rewatched like earlier this year. Um, this is not the book that Turn is based off of, but it's about that same thing, that same spy ring. So really excited to get to this. Another book I will be reading this month, it's also a nonfiction, but I'm reading it specifically for the Book Sisters Book Club. Um, and I'll leave a link to Chloe and Sarah's channel down below um, and Bree's Instagram. They are the like hosts of this book club. Um, we are we reading for the month of November. It's like Tales from a Public Library, I think is what it's called. Um, that was the book for November. I'll leave a picture of it here so you can see it. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I think it'd be interesting to read. Then I have four books that I talked about in my end of year TBR video, which I will leave linked down below. Just books that I really wanted to try and get to before the end of the month. So I selected four books from that. First up we have Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahurin. I will be buddy reading this with my mom. This is the sequel to um, Serpent and Dove, which I read way back in January. So hopefully I remember enough about that to not be too lost in this. Then I have Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, book two in the Ark of the Scythe series. Really excited to get to this. Like I mentioned in my end of year TBR video, I don't know why I haven't already read this. So hopefully this is as good as Scythe hopefully. Then we have Half a War by Joe Abercrombie. This is the third and final book in the Shattered Seas trilogy. I just read the second book. Um, when did I read that? In September. Um, so excited to finish this up. And then I have the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Um, V.E. Schwab was an author that I wanted to try in 2020, and this book has been getting so much hype lately. I'm really excited to get to it and to try V.E. Schwab because there are so many other books of hers that I want to try, but they're all like sequel or like they're all series. And so I decided to start with this one. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. All that's left are my TBR glasses. So I've made a little bit of an adjustment to my glasses. Um, I just ended up adding things to each of them. So this glass with like all the green papers used to just be books that were on like a TB, like previous TBRs that I ended up not getting to. Now this also includes books that I talk about or authors or like topics that I talk about in my Five on Friday videos because I want to start doing like follow-ups on those. And I was like talking about them and then never reading them. So hopefully this will help me stay more accountable on that. So let's see what I pick here. I guess I should probably pick the one that just fell out. So um, which is the Paris Hours, which should be right here. Oh, it's right here. 
Paris Hours by Alex George. This is a historical fiction. I actually got it from Book of the Month earlier this year, and it's set in Paris in 1927. So, and it's really short, so I am totally okay with that. It is like 250 pages. And then this glass was random books from my shelf, which it still is, but it also includes all of my unread Book of the Month books. So, yeah, because I've been really bad about like reading those. So I get three books a month. Did I just drop another one? No. So I get three books a month from Book of the Month and like wasn't, like I'm not great at reading them unless it's like something I'm really, really excited about. So let's see what I pick from here. We'll go with um, this one, which is, huh, this is another historical fiction. We have The Age of Light, um, another book of the month book, which is, I think, yeah, I think it's also set in Paris in World War II. So apparently I'm going to be getting my uh, Paris fill this month. So those are the books I will be reading in November. I'm also planning on potentially participating in a readathon later this month. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to. If I do, you will see a separate TBR video for that when it gets closer. Um, but yeah, let me know down below what are you planning on reading in November. If you're participating in any readathons, let me know because I couldn't find any others that like really caught my eye. So if you know of any, leave them down below. If you have like a TBR video or like blog post or Instagram, all of that jazz, leave it linked down below because I love watching those videos. Yeah. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.